Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be playing some Jurassic World Evolution. A big thank you to the developers for sending me a code to this one. I'm a big fan of, well, theme park builders. I'm a big fan of city builders. You know, I've played a lot of uh, Planet Coaster, and this game is made by the same people that made Planet Coaster, and I played a lot of city skylines, and an opportunity to build a dinosaur park is something that is very exciting to me, in general, because dinosaurs are awesome. Uh, so, here we go. The way the game works is, if we go, I've got to try and remember my way around here, uh, basically you've got four islands uh, that you, actually no, sorry, you've got kind of five islands that you can manage with a spoke bonus a special sixth one. This is kind of like your sandbox mode. Once you've got four stars over here, you unlock a sandbox mode and you can start, I think, from scratch, completely fresh island, and you'll have unlimited money. These have all got various little scenarios that you've got to work your way through. I've currently I played about three and a half or four hours of this last night. I admittedly only work, only intended to play, you know, an hour or so to check how it was all was and, you know, learn enough to do a video on it, and then I got distracted, and then, yeah, I played a lot. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, complete the first island, just be messing around here. I'm not really rushing through the objectives, I'm just having fun with the game. So, yeah, let's let's get started. I am currently, I'm currently sat at about four million dollars. We're going to start by building a new enclosure, I think. Uh, so when you start this island, you get these two enclosures and a couple of buildings. This particular island, you've got to be wary of storms. Every so often a big old storm will come in that will damage buildings, it will damage fences, dinosaurs can get out. Sometimes your dinosaurs get angry and just get out on their own. Have I managed to miss a tiny little bit of electrified fence there? Hmm. The, 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 uh, the Dilophosaurs are in this one and they've been causing grief. Uh, <laughs> place odd. I have missed a tiny little bit. God, Bloody... Ah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Lovasaurs have, have, have run amok. I think one of these guys. Which one is it? Not you. Uh, you over here. You're a little pain in the arse, you are. Um, he has got somewhere there are statistics on them. Where were... There we go. Um, fence breached three. Humans killed five. <laughs> times tranquilized three. He's a bit of a pain in the arse, this guy. You can actually name all your dinosaurs as well. Uh, maybe we will call you... Uh, little bugger. Uh, <laughs> for all of your times escaping out of here and eating people. Uh, I should have probably sold him. But either way, he's, he's our famous person murderer. I don't know why there'd be so many people hanging around in the park with a famous person murderer. There he is, just wandering down. Oh god, someone's got a disease. Who's got a disease? Can we cure? Oh no! Not you! Not big old chompy over here. It was the first carnivore of the park. Uh, do I have a cure to that? I don't know. Um, I hope we have got a cure to it. Um, medical treatments. I think that's what he had. Crypto thing. I don't think... Oh, no, it might have been that one. Uh, <laughs> it began with a C. I don't know. I, I was going to show this off a little bit later, but we're going to go do the exciting bit now. Uh, immediately. Yes. Yes, while I am a racing channel, I tend to stick to vehicle games. This one counts. It's got a drivable car and a drivable helicopter as well. Yes, you can drive into the enclosures. You can go exploring around the enclosures with a car and a helicopter. Well, I mean, you're less exploring with a helicopter, but there we go. Uh, now, and then we get to... Oh, didn't mean to press that button. No, come back, come back, come back. Drive vehicle. Uh, <laughs> I meant to do zoom in and... Bop! And long range hits. There we go. Oh, no, no, big dinosaur's going to eat it. I don't even know if they can attack the car. I'm going to vote for a runaway. Run away before the big dinosaur eats our uh, jeep. Ugh. We very nearly smacked our way into that. And I have to say, for a game all about building a park in which I can't imagine the vehicle driving was a, you know, a big priority... I have played racing games with worse vehicle handling. Yes, people are, you know, like Midnight Club LA uh, levels of jumping out of the way. Yeah, I mean, the physics get a little bit wonky when you go over to some of the hills. But look, you get proper airtime. I haven't been able to roll the Jeep yet. I have tried, and I have tried very, very hard to roll the Jeep. But uh, <laughs> I haven't managed to get it to roll. But like, it actually drives pretty well. Again, you know, I'm on keyboard driving this, and it's got 
you know, sensible levels of grip. It turns fairly nicely. We can bounce our way across. It, you know, it acts, reacts on the tray. Occasionally, if there's a really steep bit. Oh, no, we've got more poorly. There's a lot of disease going around all of a sudden. I guess we're going to do a lot of drive. I mean, it helps that this particular moment... I was going to build a Velociraptor pen, but instead we're going to go and cure some diseases. Um, who's contracted what and where? Uh, <laughs> please don't let it be the Dilophosaurs. Uh, they are a pain, though. I would imagine, judging by the numbers... Oh, careful that it's probably... Oh, no. Where are they going to be? I should probably have had a look somewhere. Uh, no, it is in there. Of course it is. Those guys have got some stuff. All right, we've got to turn around. Don't mind me. Excuse me. I know it's very busy. It's very crowded in here. Don't mind Don't mind the Jeep. We're just going to go and uh, deal with some more poorly dinosaurs. Everyone out of the way. And... Oh, wait. Is he still, is he still sick in there? Okay, so that... Maybe the other one got sick? I don't know. There's somebody ill. Ugh. Now, this could very easily get out of control if you aren't careful with the old... Uh... Wait, which one is it? Oh, it's you down there. Yeah, with the old uh, with the old dinosaurs. You can oh, you can order the jeep to go do this on its own, just because I'm you know on on camera and whatnot. I will uh, I will do the driving bit. Yeah, you can you can order them. If you are ordering them, you can only order them to do two things at a time before they return to base. Whereas if you are controlling the jeep, you can go and do the whole long list of stuff, uh, basically in one in one go. So it is a little bit better to do it yourself. Don't, don't have a fight, you two. I'm coming with the dark gun. To, maybe it wasn't enough. Oh, is there somebody else? Ah, oh, somebody else has got ill again. Should probably be more... Oh, I thought you were going to keep on moving forward there. I, you know, sensible thing would be to... Oh, you turned your head. God damn it. Sensible thing would be to go closer. No. Oh, you're going to go and run away, aren't you? Uh, don't be angry at me. Don't be angry at me, please. Uh, we should probably resupply that. We'll resupply that while we're here. We will do good. We'll do important work. Uh... There we go. Okay, so we have to, they have to hit the big guy twice to cure him. He's cured. Oh, roar to you as well. Please run away now. Uh, I don't know if while I'm being let out of here, if the big dinosaurs can escape or not. I think, as I, as I showed with the dinosaur, officer, they can break the fences and they'll get out and rampage around if they get unhappy. Uh, however, I don't know if I'm not paying attention and I'm being a moron with the jeep whether they can run out. They probably have an airlock system, let's be honest. And here we go. Last one, hopefully. Let's just keep an eye on him. Is that going to administer the medication fully? And are we going to get rid of all of this slight outbreak? Yes, we've got rid of the outbreak. Okay, that's one of the things that can come up. The diseases come up, you get, as I said, you get storms, and different islands have different hazards, and so on. The storms can come and wreck various bits and pieces or dinosaurs can get agitated all of the dinosaurs have these little need bars if you like so for example how much or sort of different stuff they want in their enclosure so the amount of grassland the amount of forest uh, the sort of population how many dinosaurs you can put in one place before they start getting uncomfortable and you know how much social interaction they want with uh, with one another and if they get too uncomfortable they get agitated and they start wanting to break out and then they break out and then they cause mayhem how are we doing on food for everything that could probably uh, jeep i'm not going to drive you around we're going to add some tasks for you you can go and resupply that, and you're probably going to want to resupply that as well, because the Dilophosaurs are hungry buggers yet. You're definitely going to want to resupply that. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing over here? How are you doing over here? You good? Now, of course, I've been playing this I've been playing this game with sort of the graphics. The graphics on, on Ultra and whatnot is a damn good looking game. <laughs> it's There's something about just creating these dinosaur parks that is brilliant. The dinosaurs look great, the, the worlds look great, the effects of the storms and so on. Yeah, it's it's a very it's a very pretty game. There are some drawbacks. There are some drawbacks. Hey, we're making a quarter of a million dollars a minute. If only that was real life. <laughs> Uh, hey, we got some money from so. Hey, we do we do it actually very well, well for money. Um, yeah, the plus points are you're making a dinosaur park and it all looks very, very nice. The game runs very smoothly as well. Haven't had any issues whatsoever in in running the game. Haven't had any crashes and so on in my time playing it. The downsides are it is not massively deep. It isn't a massively deep management game, massively deep park simulator, if you like, which is a little bit of a shame. It will probably still, you know, turn some people off to the game, and I can understand that. I still thoroughly enjoy myself on here, but yeah, it is not the most uh, in-depth in -depth game I've ever played. So, what we are going to do next is build a new enclosure. So, this is the starting point you're going to want. The, um, 
creations land. This is where you will breed the dinosaurs. Now, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do a Velociraptor enclosure here. Uh, there's a couple of things I actually want to try. That I'm gonna try in this, uh, in in this in this video. So while that's building up there, so I was curious. Now, of course, we've got carnivores hanging around in these in these pens, and you're not gonna want to put. Oh, he's got these little guys over here. You're not going to want to put those with these guys. Funnily enough, they eat the little dinosaurs. They eat them very quickly. In fact, you put Triceratops with these. These kill the Triceratops. However, I am very curious to know. So in here, we've got the little the little dinosaurs, and I'm wondering. Oh crap! What are you doing? Are you going to be a? No, you're just chomping at the car, but have run past it. You haven't run out the gate, that's good. Uh, my theory is, if we put a big herbivore with little carnivores, the little carnivores potentially won't go and kill the big... They, they won't want to attack it because it's too likely to injure them. Now, so this is what we've got, the Dilophosaur. What I'm thinking is that the Dilophosaur's attack is 40. What I'm thinking is, if we put the an Ankleosaur in here, the fence is 41, so its defense is higher than the Dilophosaur's attack. It's a decent-sized animal. I'm going to hope that the Ankylosaur is going to be too difficult for the Dilophosaur to kill, so we can get away with more dino- rather than having to build lots and lots and lots of individual pens, we can get away with having more dinosaurs in there. I don't know whether it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Up here, we've got this thing, uh, this thing built, so, I mean, what other, th what other possible- oh, no, not a power station, we want a substation. Uh, there we go. To deliver This delivers power to your little buildings. Uh, what else would you want when walking into a dinosaur park than to have than to have a velociraptor enclosure? Uh, can we get... Oh, we can't quite get you all the way across there. Sure. Okay, we'll do that. It sounded like an angry chompy sound going on. Who was angrily chomping? No one's got out. There'll be an alert come up at the top of a dinosaur escapes and starts terrorising the park. Uh <laughs> Okay, so, fences. We're going to want a fence. I'm going to go with electrified heavy steel fence, because I do not trust... We could probably get away with electrified light steel fence for velociraptors. They're not, you know, a T-Rex. Right, so we're going to bring this along the edge of the path, and I kind of feel like we'll... we'll yeah, well, let's, let's fill in this little area down here. I'm not really going to be using it for much else, so we might as well go and fill this in and hope that this is going to be a big enough pen for the Velociraptors not to get angry and try and murder everything. And then that will go back oh, into... Oh, not really done that very well. It's a little bit wonky a pen, but, you know, it's fine. It's okay. And then we will get a viewing gallery so people can see the dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> Potentially, if we can find the right, just the right point to put it. Perfect. So we've got a viewing gallery down there. We will get path connected up. Oh no, not storms. Storms. Uh, open the shelters. Everybody get into there, please. Run. Get into there. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no, I should have built more. So these little storm defense stations. Oh no! Who's died? Who's died? Oh, what happened? We've had a... What happened to you? you? Were you killed by the storm? Does it say? Di oh, died of old age. Okay, this is one of our early dinosaurs. That's going to happen. It's a little bit of a shame. Uh, we can call it a transport to remove dead bodies. If you leave them hanging around too much, they'll create disease. And then that'll spread to the dinosaurs. I wouldn't want to be piloting that helicopter in the middle of the storm, I'm going to be honest here. Okay, so we lost a... a Drax or something, was it? A Dracorex? One of these little guys. Uh, <laughs> we'll create another one. Uh, the more dinosaurs, the more variety of dinosaurs you have, the, the better the park rating, the more guests will come, and the better you'll do, etc. Looks like the two ankylosaurs might be ready to go. Uh, are we going to have any fences? No. Oh, actually, no. That was, I say no. It's a shame that it failed, but at least this was a relatively cheap one to make. Not the 600,000 carnivores over there that uh, <laughs> they fail. I've had one of them fail at like 2% to go, and you've spent a huge amount of money on them. Uh, that's okay. Still not had any sign of big damage to anything yet. Yet being the... Oh, I say big damage to anything yet. Clothes shop's a little bit knackered. It's a little okay. Clothes shop's quite knackered. You know, let's not worry too much about that for the moment. Uh, we're not going to release dinosaurs into the, this storm. I don't know if it makes any difference, but we'll wait until afterwards. Uh, <laughs> that's been built... That's okay. Is it only really the clothes shop that's taken a battering? 
Yeah, so amazingly, it's only the clothes shop. That's the last time we had a storm. There, there was um, quite the quite the quite a large amount of uh, fires went on around the place. Sure. Uh, can we go and get you? You should be able to drive. I mean, it might just be a visual thing. It might actually repair itself over time. I don't know. We spent a couple of thousand. Anything else need a repair? Oh, I think we're pretty good, actually. We'll have a look around just in case. Uh, just in case I spot a uh, roof tile hanging off somewhere. Hey, and here we go. We have a new dinosaur heading into our park, the Ankylosaurus. I apologise if I mispronounced any dinosaur names. I mean, I struggle with normal English words, let alone adding in some dinosaur names. Yeah, the hope is that this can get along with the Dilophosaurs, or this is tough enough that the Dilophosaurs won't mess around with it. Uh, <laughs> we will very quickly find out if this is a good plan or not. I don't know. And you can go and release. That does do this cutscene for all of the dinosaurs. You can skip it though, and like it's. It, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that it's doing a cutscene. Uh, are you going to be angry at the. Oh, we actually need to get a. A herbivore feeder. Let's put the herbivore feeder up here, out of the way. As far away from the little dilophosaurs. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to encourage a big old fight. However, if one happens, they are quite spectacular as well, you had a dinosaur fight going on. Anyway, I digress. We were going to go over here and incubate us some velociraptors. These are not cheap things to make. Uh, <laughs> at just over half a million each. But people like velociraptors, so it only seems right that we should... Uh, but we should get some. Uh, we're going to want landscaping, some water. Probably going to want to do a little bit of deforestation around here. Because you've got to see where the hell I'm building. We're going to build a little pond uh, over here for drinking water. A uh, decent sized pond. Uh, oh, the hotel's a smidge on fire. You know, it, it's fine. Nothing to see there at all. Um... No, nothing to see there. <laughs> Excuse me, Ranger team, uh, add a task. Could you go and repair that? Actually, we can just have a look from up here and see what bits need, what bits need doing. Oh, is that nearly out again? No, it's fine. It's got three, three out of five still left hanging around. Oh, you can be released as well. Good, good. So, <laughs> yeah, Pl plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff going on at this particular moment in time. Are these guys fighting or are they just having a talk? Nope, they're fighting. Oh, I hope this might work. I hope you wouldn't be stupid enough to try and attack the big guy. Oh, no, okay, so they've calmed down again. They just had a little bit of a standoff. A little bit of a standoff and decided against it. Nobody got hurt. Oh, you're going to have a standoff. Little bugger is having a standoff. Are you going to be chompy and go and attack him? Or are you just going to have the... Yeah, I, I wouldn't fight that. That thing's very heavily armoured. Oh, you're just going to spit at it. Uh... <laughs> and now we have a, a dinosaur fight going on. Uh, when is the big sort of carnivore versus carnivore fights? They are quite impressive. This just looks like a bit of a standoff. Uh, oh, you can whack him with the tail. That will sort him out. Just whack him with the tail. Or just lightly brush past. Yeah, okay. So they're not really very keen on fighting over there. I can't say I blame it. Oh, we've lost a velociraptor. Let's get another one going on. Uh, as you do. I mean, it creates spectacle at least here. It sells tickets. Can the Dilophosaurs and the Ankylosaurs get along? Pretty good idea feeding them separately. That's actually kind of worked out quite well. You guys are all fine. For a second, I thought the big. Is it Carnosaur we've got over here? Um, oh. Car. Car. Creatosaur? I don't know. <laughs> I thought one of those had got into here because that looks. From like a long range, it looked quite, diff quite similar. Sorry. And quite similar colourings and everything. But uh, there we go. I want to release the Velociraptors. Come on. So it's always a sentence you want to have to say. I want to release the Velociraptors while they're growing. Um, yeah, the the downside to this game is that it is not a massively massively deep. Game. As much as I as much as I love it, as much as I have fun creating these parks, as far as the management side of things go, it isn't massively complex. Sort of placements of stuff while creating, as I said, as I showed with this bit here, while creation of the 
uh, you know, actual enclosures does require a little bit of finesse. It's pretty straightforward, like placement of power stations, placement of these buildings doesn't affect the sort of the tourist value. You know, the hotel being next to the expedition center doesn't really affect anything. Um, I think one of the biggest kind of downsides in all of this to me with this game is the way that the money is dealt with. So as you can see, we've got four, four and a half million dollars. Dinosaurs cost maybe half a million each to create. We're making some astronomical amount of money per minute at the moment. Oh, not another Velociraptor failure. Apparently we're not very good at incubating Velociraptors. I just want a Velociraptor or... Oh, I want a few Velociraptors. Oh, no, something else is done. I want to talk about the game! Stop having everything going on. Who's died? Oh, there's another one. I think old age, pretty much, that one there. Uh, let's go have a check, just in case. Oh, it died, died while eating. Let's go and call in the recovery service, get rid of that corpse. Are the Ankylosaurs still alive and not fighting? Yeah, cool. Anyway, yes, the the money side of things. Like shops, I'm used to, you know, when you're doing a park builder, I'm going to compare to Planet Coaster, Theme Park World, all that kind of thing. The shops are always a good way of making money. Okay, now this makes me $1,000 per minute. Half a million dollar dinosaurs. I imagine T Rex is going to be a lot more than that. A thousand. Basically, a lot of the shop stuff is kind of pointless. Your source of income is going to be the guests, which seems a little bit like an arbitrary number for a lot of it. Is a little Velociraptor. Uh, yeah, the managing the income is is from guests, but also from the various quests. You see, I've got a couple of them running at the moment. You can request these contracts, these little quests for you to to do. Um, you want, an, you've got another one being built. Don't worry. You're relatively happy with this enclosure. You just need a little bit more. You just need a friend, uh, which is try. We we'll try to make you a friend. Uh, if we don't build him a friend, we leave him with no with no, you know, social. He'll get agitated, break the fence, and start eating people. Uh, so let's hope that guy doesn't fail the uh, incubation. So yeah, kind of money is, is complete these and kind of it. So yeah, if you're really into your, your park manager or into managing the finances, you want to be setting, you know, rates for your food chains and, and all of that kind of thing. You're not quite going to get that here, which is a shame. I would have liked that little bit more depth. I've also just realised I haven't got big electric fences around the toughest dinosaurs we have. Perhaps we go and upgrade to uh, <laughs> upgrade to that. Yeah, the, the the perhaps lack of depth with certainly some of the... Oh, I don't have enough power for all of this. Oh, we can get another power station, it's fine. We'll build that up. Um, yeah, the, the slight lack of depth is a bit of a problem, I would say. Although, that being said, I'm still enjoying myself with the game. It's kind of a management game or a park builder where you can have more fun and not, you know, have to worry about too much. At the end of the day, I'm okay with it, but yeah, I could see why some people might be perhaps put off by by all of that. Uh, can we get another power station in here? Yes, we can. Good. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to build like this little sector over here of all my uh, utility buildings. Let's get you connected and over there. Cool. That's all going. They're just wandering around. Once that's up and running, the Velociraptor's electric fence should hopefully work. Don't try and break out, you little bugger. I know you need some social. He's on the way, 82%, and then you'll have a buddy, and then you won't go and attack the fence. Uh, <laughs> there is, you know, while actual park management side of things is not particularly in-depth, there is, of course, the, the dinosaur creation, the dinosaur DNA side of everything. And much like the recent incarnations of, well, Jurassic World, you can customise your dinosaurs. For example, here we've got these two. Uh, you can see one has got a slightly different skin. You can essentially customise the look of your dinosaurs with different liveries. Going back to the whole car thing. Uh, yeah, you can customise your, your dinosaurs. Uh, you get DNA, so we go over here to the Expedition Centre. You can go on Expeditions to find uh, to find DNA. 
you'll find different dig sites have different dinosaurs so if you want to find something in particular and you'll unlock more as you go along let's go over here the dig team will go off and dig for um dig for a fossil and then that will return with some with some dna that goes into here I think we might still have so oh, we've got some hanging around sometimes it returns with stuff that's of no use you can just sell it um but yeah, so you click on this, you can extract the DNA and you can get it closer to 100%. If it gets to 100%, it means there's less chance of failure when you're creating it, essentially. Uh, you can, though, also, when we're going to... I haven't actually researched very much of this stuff. Uh, however, let's say, for example, we wanted to go in and create a new Dilophosaur. Uh, you can go modify the genome. And then you've got all of these different options. So we can change the look of the Dilophosaur with a savannah uh, pattern gene. Uh, or we can change the resilience of it we can go and try and make it uh, robust di digestion sorry but i can't speak uh, <laughs> we'll we'll give it a slight bit more resilience to disease you can then go into defense uh, we can make it a tougher tougher skinned uh, dilophosaur so you know it's going to survive more hits and then there's more and more stuff to unlock and there's quite a lot of this sort of different stuff that you can be doing uh, if we go into the uh, research lab genetic research so over here you know we can sharpen reaction times we can kind of get it to self heal a little bit more you can give it an immune response you can basically make your big killer dinosaur that once it gets out kills everybody you know much like the first film uh, you can make it more aggressive and whatnot so yeah you can go into the whole design of dinosaur i haven't really done too much of that i'm just kind of enjoying making fairly straightforward dinosaurs at the moment um however yeah if you want to you can go into the whole uh you know complete design of dinosaurs i think you are going to want some more some more social shall we get you another couple of uh, velociraptors now, hopefully we'll we'll get away with this okay without having more failures. We're down to just under four million dollars. What a shame. Uh, successfully incubate a carnival. Well, considering I just started that, I will say yes. Because we'll get some money for, for nothing. Well, say for nothing. For what we were already doing. These guys all sorted themselves out now. The, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, where are you going? I don't trust you when you're running around like a lunatic. What are you up to? Gone into some trees. Uh... <laughs> Oh dear. Don't run like a lunatic at the ankylosaurs, please. And we've got, oh, we've got some, some actual decent quality fossils. We'll sell those for some money. And, oh, we might actually get a little closer to creating that guy. Uh, we might as well do that. And, yeah, it takes some, takes some time to do all of that. You're just going to go for a paddle in the... Is that the main lake? I oh, know there's another lake over here, isn't there? I remember I created lakes. Oh, god damn. <laughs> I swear. I swear like, all of my time doing this, these velociraptors have been the least successful. Even like with dinosaurs of a lot lower percentage genome, I've had a lot more luck creating them. So yeah, that's that's a, a look at my at my dinosaur part. Shall we finish with a flyby in the helicopter? Uh, pilot the helicopter. Even the helicopters don't fly too badly. I mean, it's not a massively uh, complex, you know, flight thing. However... Yeah, they don't, they don't actually fly terribly. I, as I said, you know, it's it's a little flawed, this one. At times, a little, a little simplistic, which is perhaps a little bit of a shame. There is certainly, there's a very, very good game in here that is perhaps a little bit too, too simplistic. That all being said, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I am, I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this game. And if you like dinosaurs and if you like park builders, there will definitely be fun hand here. But it is perhaps not as detailed as you might ideally, ideally like. It's, yeah, how, how much do you like to kind of micromanage everything and how much do you want to drive a jeep around the enclosures you've created that are full of velociraptors? Got to kind of weigh the two of those, thi <laughs> those things up. And if you're okay with it being a bit simplistic but want to fly your helicopter towards the velociraptor enclosure, then I would definitely recommend this one. However, I can, yeah, I can see why it will not appeal to, to all. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.